Guys, do you like the game modes that happen in Fortnite Battle Royale? Such as like, you know, the limited time modes, the gold one, the 50v50, the blitz mode. Oh my god, there's so many awesome ones coming out. But we are going to be actually revisiting an old one that is going to be coming out sometime soon in the near future, which is very awesome. And this game mode was actually very much liked by a lot of people. It was the 50v50 game mode where obviously 50v50, 50, 50 people versus 50 people, they all come together and clash it out. Now, unfortunately, when Epic Games actually released the trailer for 50v50, which you're probably seeing on screen right now, it wasn't exactly right, you know? Everybody was very disappointed about how it actually turned out. I mean, it was like expectation versus reality, you know? You saw the trailer and you were like, holy crap, that looks amazing! It looks like it's gonna be so cool! And the next minute, reality kicks in and it was just a whole load of people killing each other and it was just messy, nobody was landing with their team. It was unbelievably terrible, in my opinion. And um, I only got to play it once or twice. I didn't find it that enjoyable either. But when I looked at the trailer, I was like, hot damn, that looks amazing. But we actually do have some pretty brand new news, I guess, about the new 50v50, which is coming out, which Epic are actually calling 50v50 version 2. And they actually released a lot of information about this a long time ago, to be honest. But um, nobody really picked it up until lately, as this dude from Reddit actually called Pleep. Leap? I, I don't know his name, it's very difficult to actually uh, kind of say, but um, yeah, he, he actually made a concept art of what 50v50 could look like in the new version 2 update, and it looks pretty interesting guys, and I will be sharing that with you in a little while, but let me just give you a little backstory about what Epic Games wants the new 50v50 mode to actually be like. So these are the bullet points that were actually listed by Epic themselves, and they said, closer to the 50v50 trailer experience, you know, the one where like two teams were in this big castle, and they were fighting it out, and it was just absolutely crazy, that's what they want this to be, that's ultimately the goal here. They also want it to be split to the start, so for example, you know, one team up on the north end of the map, one team on the bottom end of the map, and the crazy thing about this is that each team gets a bus, so there will be two buses, one team is the blue team, the other team is the red team. So yeah, that sounds actually pretty, pretty awesome. Now, of course, the new 20v20v20v20 20 20 20 mode actually introduced the fact that you can actually see your squad mates on the map. And of course, that is exactly what, uh, you know, the 50v50 is going to be. You're going to want to see exactly where all of your teammates are on the map. So that is what they're going to do, hopefully. And also, again, more supply drops, just like the 20v20v20, 20 20 20, because there was just not enough loot for everybody. It was absolutely insane. So yeah, they definitely need to do a lot more supply drops, and they also need to make it so that your squad mates can actually be seen on the map and that each team have a battle bus for themselves and uh, yeah the actual concept art from Fleep is actually on screen right now and as you can see right there it, it looks pretty decent like you know they've got the red side at the top the blue side at the bottom the buses go past each other and players are able to actually jump out uh, whichever side of the actual map that they're on now unfortunately I don't know exactly how this will work because will you be able to go onto the red team like sides or not like it's very confusing Personally, for me, what I think would be absolutely amazing is if the actual map was split in the middle, you all had to loot somewhere, or, you know, you had a set place where you start at the map, so maybe um, the whole team starts at Junk Junction, and then the other team starts at, like, Moisty Mire. Obviously, that is not fair, because, you know, on the left-hand side of the map, you've got so many places that are, have so much loot, and then on the right side of the map, every location on that right side of the map is absolutely terrible, in my opinion. I mean... I mean, no wonder half the team, like half of the game, dies on the left-hand side of the map these days because you've got Tilted Towers, Greasy Grove, Pleasant Park. They are like the main places to land. Like, who wants to land at Tomato Town? Nobody wants to land at Tomato Town in the squad. It's absolutely insane. They need to fix this map. Honestly, they do. So this 50v50 mode, personally for me, I think it's going to be very unfair. But in the end of it, I think what would be really cool is if they had these big, huge forts pre-built before the game actually starts. Like, they go into the game, they make the game mode where there's castles, big, huge castles with sniper towers and everything already built so that eventually when you guys meet in the middle both of you guys have a huge castle and you know you can add on to the castle they can still destroy the castle it would be insane i would absolutely love that but you know again we're gonna have to wait and see exactly what this is all going to be but this concept art that we're seeing right now seems pretty pretty decent in my opinion i mean i wouldn't be i wouldn't be sad about that i'd be pretty happy if that was actually how it ended um but again, let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. I'm always asking for you guys' opinion, and yeah, I would love to know it in this instance. Uh, so anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it.